Um, accountability means acknowledging uh, what you've done. And I don't think it's necessarily just for like bad things that you do, uh, just for everything. Um, every decision you make has a consequence and just owning up to whatever actions you made. That's a good definition. <laughs> Thank you. Um, now we can move on to being held accountable. Um, so it's really hard to take accountability if there was nobody to like tell you that you've done some, some harm. So I'm wondering who in your life or like what type of people uh, hold you accountable and how do you make sure to foster an environment where these people feel uh, comfortable to call you up on things that you've done? All right. Um, yeah, I think for me, um, accountability is something I've been learning more and more as I foster a lot of like deeper, like healthy friendships. I feel like for me, um, at least within the scope of the society we live in, we place a lot of value onto um, romantic relationships. Um, and I feel like for myself, not being able to learn like the foundation of like what trust looks like to be able to call people in for a something little like hey I didn't the way that you said this made me feel this type of way um, whereas a lot of a lot of the time I was actually just talking to a friend about this the other day how we find that it's more appropriate to do that in romantic relationships than it is to do that in friendships so um, learning how to just like have a foundational trust where you can feel like you can share exactly what you're feeling um, whether it's like you know what we think are good feelings or, or bad feelings um, within friendships are, is really important um, to me um, and I feel like over the past two years I've been able to like build a lot of really healthy friendships that feel that way um, in my own healing journey um, uh, so I definitely have friends that I, I find keep, keep me accountable um, and keep me in check when also if I get defensive they'll be like you're getting defensive I'm like you're right so um, Basically, in my interpersonal life, I try and foster that as much as possible, and then I feel like that tends or tends to translate in the organizing that I do. So what I'm hearing is that you need one an openness to being criticized, and two, you need friends that are willing to be there and do the work with you. Exactly, exactly. It needs to be a mutual exchange of of doing that work. Um, if I'm open to criticism, I'm hoping that those that I'm in relationship to, whether it's um, like intimately as friends or even in organizing, um, I'm hoping that they're also going to be open to that. Mm -hmm. And how do you then bring this foundation and do your work in the creative scene? Yeah, I think one thing that I've learned um, a lot through organizing is to put your ego aside. Does anyone want to add on to that? Yeah, sure. Uh, from an organizational perspective from Girls Rock Ottawa, we have a board and we try to make it as diverse as possible and that really keeps us in check. Um, and every year we're trying to get better with the stuff, like trying to have, this year we're incorporating um, anti-oppression training at our teacher orientation sessions, for example, and that's not something that we've had before. So, And these are suggestions that new board members are bringing up and so that keeps us in check. And I think also just knowing that our main audience, like who your audience is, and we're trying to reach young, like youth and uh, like youth and um, people of marginalized communities. So knowing that we have that keeps us accountable because you're like they're watching. So we have to be uh, doing the best that we can because they're watching it and learning from that. So I'm very curious about your board processes. Mm -hmm. Who votes to know like who gets on the board? How does that processes work? Mm -hmm. So. We're like semi-organized, also sometimes not that organized. So usually we have a monthly board meeting uh, where we, if we have big decisions, we'll vote on them. And uh, if we're bringing someone new on, it'll probably be someone recommends it. We'll meet meet them usually informally, and then formally, like you bring them to a board meeting to meet everyone, ask questions, and then uh, vote on it afterwards. Yeah. And then also just going back to what the definition of accountability is that also helps me personally is just knowing that from the get-go, we're all going to make mistakes. And if you can start the discussion from that level, it's like, then what are you going to do about it? And it kind of helps me when you're like, okay, you already know that you're going to make a mistake. That's already the assumption. Then you can move forward. 